Google wants a word in your ear. That's like having a personal translator by your side. I can use real-time Google Translate to have a natural conversation in 40 languages. The search giant announced two new Pixel phones, the 5-inch Pixel 2 and the 6-inch Pixel 2 XL. Just give your Pixel a quick squeeze where your hand naturally holds the phone and ask for whatever you need. I just squeeze the phone, take a selfie. One hand, no buttons. Help me out, front row. Both are water and dust resistant with a 12 megapixel camera that has electronic and optical image stabilization. Following the move of other phone makers like Apple removing the headphone jack, Google has done the same on the new Pixel phones. So to listen to music, you will either need a dongle or to use a pair of Bluetooth headphones like the Google Pixel Buds. These earbuds have a real-time translation mode. Talk into the phone in one language and hear a translation in your ear. Hey Isabel, how's it going? Hey Isabel, how are you? Okay, thank you. Absolutely okay, thank you. To take on Siri and Alexa, the Google Assistant also lives in two new home speakers. And you can control it by touch. Give the fabric a quick tap to pause your music, adjust the volume, or talk to your assistant. The $49 Home Mini plays music and responds to voice queries in a tiny form factor, while the $399 Max goes after audio files with stereo sound. The smart speaker market is important for Google. Amazon dominates 70% of the space with Echo devices, and Apple's HomePod speaker is due to go on sale in December. At a time when Apple is asking $1,000 for the iPhone X, Google's Pixel 2 and XL start at $649 and $849. In San Francisco, Lexi Savides, CNET.com for CBS News.